All right, welcome back uh, to our uh, basics of punching video series. This is video number two, and we're gonna discuss the cross or your first power shot in it. We have already discussed the jab, and I'm gonna put a link to those videos in the description or at the end of this video where you guys can easily navigate to that. So the cross, it's your first power shot. And uh, as we discussed before, uh, we're showing for righty stances and uh, your power shot is your right hand because you're a righty. If you're left-handed, your power shot is gonna be your left hand or your cross is gonna be your left hand because it's your stronger side. Uh, we discussed with the jab that the punch originates in the shoulder and it propels straight forward. With the cross or the right hand or your first power shot, generally the power starts in your hip or the movement of the punch starts in your hip. I like to say, Try to think of the punch origination in your heel, in your foot down there. So we're gonna practice it this way. We're gonna rotate the heel around and that's gonna turn all my right side around and at the end my right hand is gonna be propelled towards my opponent. So let it start here in your right foot. Rotate your heel around and allow your knee, your hip, and your shoulder to rotate with it. I highly recommend you practice without the punch first. Just teach your body to move as such. Here is the common mistakes people do when they learn that. One is they Bring their heel up and push forward, which results in you tilting in that direction. No, we don't wanna raise the heel up like that. We wanna rotate the heel around. Rotate, pivot your foot, turn it around. As if uh, you're killing a bug on the ground or putting out uh, a doobie. Turn it around. Have your hip, your shoulder, your knee, your heel work together in one, movement. The second problem people encounter when they do this is locking their knee. As they rotate, they push their heel or their foot backwards and their leg locks up like that. If you do that, the force you generated, instead of going forward towards your opponent, is going to go back behind you and your punch is going to be very weak. We don't want to lock the knee, we don't want to push the foot back. It's just a simple twist. A simple twist, don't complicate it. Turn and back, turn and back. Now we add the punch, and as we discussed with the jab, the shoulder is gonna propel the fist forward, the fist is not gonna turn, there's no turning, there's no snake hits of any kind. The punch stays straight, the elbow doesn't stick out, it stays in here. You start propelling the punch from your heel, it goes out, it rotates, it goes up, covers your jawline, and it hits your opponent and comes back. Cross, 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 cross. I'm gonna show you from the other side. Another common mistake, people lean into the cross too much. Bending over, leaning, trying to reach. The cross is really a short punch for the most part. It's not a very long punch. It's a quick power shot. The last thing I want you to remember when you throw your cross, we want to pull it back with the same intensity. So another common mistake is keeping the arm out popping the elbow, we discussed that with the jab. We don't wanna pop the elbow. We don't wanna keep the hand out. We don't wanna pop the head up. All these bad habits you wanna get rid of. You wanna keep your chin down, propel your punch, rotate it, and bring it back. And when you bring it back, don't bring your arm back and keep your body there. Bring your arm back from your butt. Cool. Just went on. Sorry about that if uh, you can hear the noise in the background. But this is about it for the cross right now, and uh, I'll
I'll see you with the hook and uh, the basics of combos. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.